and well, and my focus on the history of our region is on indigenous peoples in Taiwan. The origin. Well, this one theory said people and uh, people in southern part of China first migrated to Taiwan and spread all directions to, for example, Madagascar, New Zealand, Easter Island, Hawaii. This is this theory is called after out of Taiwan model, and this. This theory says that all the old Austronesian peoples, Taiwan is the home of the old Austronesian peoples. But recently there have been theories refuting the, the argument, but I don't want to go too, too deep about this. <laughs> After all, I'm not an archaeologist. And does Chinese define how they divide the, the indigenous people, depending on the level of civilization? If indigenous people are submissive and pay their taxes and willing to get be controlled by the Chinese, they are called Tuk, savage. And if you, are, if you live in the mountains and don't want to submit to Chinese rule and, and practice headhunt, then you will be called raw savage. So it depends on your level of civilization according to the definition of the Chinese in the 18th, uh, 18th and the 19th century. And uh, indigenous people in the mountains of often practice this headcount. There are many reasons for this headcount. First, for, because of revenge, because your tribe has been beheaded. So he will search for, for the, the people who is responsible and cut his head off. Second is for example, Chinese always stealing land from the indigenous people. Say they will cut his head off to, to intimidate them. And third, is a symbol of courage. If you practice head hunting, you are, become, you, are a, you are a child becoming a man, so process. And what they do with the head, they will get rid of the hair, the brain, and the liver. And make some tribe will make it a wine container, put it wine on, and then pass it through. And this is the skulls. And this is the sh kind of shell, shirt, placement for the skulls, depending on which, which tribe you are. If you belong to one certain tribe, they use a single tire for the placement of the skull. If you are another tribe, you use a multi-tiered placement to contain the skull. And there are several taboos of before the, the practice of head hunting. You can't have, you can't have sex. You can't have masturbation. You can't have altercation with other tribe, with, with, with people in the same tribe. They think it's bad luck. And you can't have fe you can't have female touching their tools because it was it's also considered luck. So Ch Chinese basic basically didn't rule the Aborigines in the mountains because it's, it's too dangerous. It was the Japanese because they have powerful forces that they occupy the entire Taiwan. And this is a famous incident in 1990 when the, when the indigenous people revolted against the Japanese. There are several reasons to that because in Japan they think head hunting or facial cartoon is barbaric. So they, they ban from doing it. Second, because they wanted land for forestry industry for export, export reasons. So, the reduction of hunting grounds for, for Aborigines. They, are very, they were very upset. And third reason, the Japanese government encouraged their military, sorry, not military, their police officer to marry with Aboriginal women to gain better control of the Aboriginal tribe. But very often, they abandon the Aboriginal women that cause resentment among the tribes. So we'll see a clip about, about that. This is, so when they uprised, they killed over 200 Japanese in the, in the school. <coughs> and this is the, no, I don't think it's, so 
there's no pay for it.
Patriot system is negative. So the indigenous people want to change their name. So in 1994, they finally get the Taiwanese government to change, the, change their name. That's in Chinese, Yuan Zumi. It's called, it's literally translated in English, original inhabitant. Because they have they have debate on which which term they should use, first nation, early inhabitants or something, but they, they use original inhabitants. And they, this is the one of the Aboriginal legislators. They are guaranteed three members of legislative council. And in some cases, there's a preferential treatment in education. For example, if your score is too low, they can add certain percentage to your point to reach the standard. Or you can lower the admission admission threshold for them to come in. Because not most of the original education is not that good. And this is the stereotype of Taiwanese education. They are very good at sports and singing. Very good. And this is the one of one of few Asians in Time magazine cover. This her name is uh, Zhang Wei Mei. Maybe some people have heard of him before. He's from the tribe of Puyuma. Um, many of the Aborigines, their occupation are concentrated on labor intensive work. Maybe the same in Australia? Maybe. And this is a remote area of Aboriginal village or tribe. But because the scale of the economy is so small, so they have to go down to pay them. And they are very good drinkers. They hold their drink very well. But I know some <coughs> Aborigines, because they are very devoted Christians, they just don't drink. I know some people is this kind of people. But many people are just very good drinkers. <laughs> and this is the Aboriginal standout in sports. And this is the first Aboriginal baseball team educated by the Japanese. But the, uh, the Japanese were shocked. They say even animals can play baseball. Because they, they often think the rock, I think the indigenous people are animals. They think, wow, they, and they also be Japanese teams all the time. So they are very good at sports. And this is the Hongye baseball team, which is used, which is used as a political propaganda by the political, showing that they are superior than the, than the Japanese, because they beat the Japanese, Japanese beat, beat, beat the league baseball team. This occurred in 1968. And this is also from an Amish tribe. He won the first Taiwanese medal in the Olympics, silver medal, in the Catalan in Roman And then, if you, if you translate in English, it's called the Three Barbarian Knives, because they are very, very good infielders and from the same tribe, I mean, And this is our national sport. Over 40% are Aborigines. So they say without Aborigines, the Taiwanese national team would have been beaten by everyone. If you only consist of Taiwanese Taiwanese. And this is a, a mystery. We call it animal. Beast, because he plays very casually and don't don't give a damn attitude. But he's a very very good. Player. And this is also from Amish tribe. So that the Amish tribe are very very good at sports. And these athletics, also from Amish. 
is a 100 meter sprinter. Maybe the computer one needs to suspend the lecture. So I said before that if they live in southern part of Taiwan and they are with dark skin, and they be very muscular. But I'll show this clip just one minute. This is what happened between New Zealand and um, Taiwan. It went viral actually. Because when they were performing Hakka, Chinese Taipei did one thing.
time at a time we saw the tornado control. Because in Taiwan, if you if you're a newborn baby, you keep crying at night, stay up at night crying. They they think they were intimidated by the evil forces, evil spirits. So they will put a small little envelope bag, and then they will put put fluoride salt and something to ward off evil spirits. Then the baby will, will sleep comfortably. Like that. So that's the. I think that is the function of the salt. And salt is a very important ingredient in Taiwan because we always add salt for our food. But I know that, but I think the New Zealand can feel the difference between salt and soil. Because the New Zealand thought it was soil. Actually, it was salt. Yes. No, because even on cloud there's a dust, so I have to finish it early. Oh, okay. And this is the first time they use Aboriginal names in the back of the show. But that's only for Aboriginal days. So normally they still have Chinese characters on the back of the show. And starting, no, normally the Aboriginals don't, in one position they, they, are, they are not specialized. Because that position requires thinking and strategy, which is culture. And now Aboriginal cultures in Taiwan, they are pitchers, hitters, sluggers, outfielders, infielders, but not, not, not in the position of culture. Because Chinese people always think that Aboriginal people are limited in their Thank you. Thank you.